So in this video, we're going to be test running an NYB Series 20 GI fan made by the New York Blower Company. It's a size 144 with an LS fan wheel. I picked this up from a local company that actually had a change in process and they were scrapping some equipment, so I was actually able to get this pretty much for the cost of scrap. The nice thing about this blower is it actually has a material handling fan wheel, but this blower itself has done nothing more than vent industrial gases from a process. The fan wheel itself makes this blower ideal for a dust collection system. Now you might be wondering, I thought you already had a dust collector. I do, but have you heard it? Ever since I went from a 5 horsepower motor to a 7.5 horsepower motor and increased the fan speed, this blower has developed such a nuisance frequency that is very audible even through earmuffs that has become very annoying. Because there's some changes happening in the shop with the new finish room, I need to actually have a place to put all my short cutoffs which is currently blocking the door that would actually lead to the new finish room. So in order to do that, the dust collector bag house and blower must go. So I'm going to move them to the other side of the wall and I figured if I have to move the dust collector blower, maybe I should use the NYB blower. And you'll get to hear at the end of this video as far as how the two sound in comparison and you'll understand why I much rather use the NYB blower. I hope you guys enjoy the video, questions and comments are welcome. All right, here's the video. All right, we're gonna do a test fire. This is the new used New York blower. This is a GI 20 series with an LS fan wheel. It's an LS 144. Uh, it is a fan wheel designed for moving uh, streaming material such as sawdust. I have a seven and a half horsepower motor on here. I haven't figured out, um, based on static pressure I got from the manufacturer, the filter bags, they said around five inches. Um, I have the CFM rating um, for four to six inches, so I'm actually running about four inches static pressure right now. I just have it belted up um, with the approximate RPM it should be. So I'm going to do a test fire on this, uh, see what the running amps are. For that, let's uh, see what she does. So this is on a 40 amp breaker. This motor is good for uh, 37 amps, I think. So we'll see if she holds on startup. We'll find out together here. 